Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're looking at a Vulcan augment that basically turns Vulcan back to what it originally was. So the biggest problem I have with Vulcan in just most of the games I play with it these days is that when you are shooting with it, you're barely able to aim because your turret always just turns so absurdly slow. But with the augment I'm using, Reinforced Aiming Transmission, otherwise known as RAT, like a lot of people like to call it that, that problem is no longer a thing because what the augment does is it takes away the turning speed decrease that you get on any other normal Vulcan augment. Because I can actually move around and shoot people now. Because what Vulcan turned into is just a turret that you have to sit back and shoot from long distance. Because if you're trying to play smart with it and get around the enemies, it's not really possible to do that while I'm going off. Now another reason I've been enjoying using this augment recently is because if you didn't know, Vulcan is the least used protection in tanky online. At least, you know, in recent weeks, recent months. Of course, the meta changes all the time, so you never know. But the Detective9992 made a whole poll about this. He went into battles, got statistics of the protections being used, and both Vulcan and Smokey were the least used protections in Tanky Online. But using this augment truly makes it feel like the original version of the turret. Come on, die please. There we go. Bro, I hate big maps though. I wish I could just use this on a medium map. One thing I like about this augment is that it actually allows Vulcan to be fun again. Because I'll be honest, I hate Vulcan in the state that it is without this augment. When you try to use Vulcan in an offensive manner, it's impossible. Because you literally have to use your hole for every single little piece of movement or else you're not going to be able to hit a single shot, especially on someone who's moving against you. And Vulcan, if you can hit your shots, the amount of damage you can do is just incredible. But the biggest thing is you have to be able to hit all your shots because if you can't, it's not nearly as good. Come on, please die already. Holy cow, we got him. I remember when Vulcan first came out, it was so fun to use. Especially because it did so much freaking damage. And when no one has protection against you ever, it's just so easy to kill people fast. Another tanky fun should be coming to tanky very, very soon. Within the next few days, it's hopefully going to be announced. I'm kind of excited for it. As long as we get some nice new unique skins, I'll be happy. I'm also really close to getting the new Freeze XT skin in the past. I'm at like 730 stars right now. It's crazy how much I've been playing recently. I haven't played this much tanky straight for a long time. Like I've gotten 700 plus stars in just under a week. That's more than I've ever played in such a long time. Bro, of course the one guy who I see has freaking protection against me. He also has Pulsar Firebird. Firebird's already broken enough. Tanky has to nerf Firebird soon, right? There's just no way it's going to be this good forever. Oh, come on. This guy's just gonna run. Okay, we get him. Come on, die faster please, thank you. Yeah, Firebird is by far the best turret in the game. The only downside is that everyone uses protection against you. But even then, I swear, it's still really, really good. I get him. Is there another guy I can shoot? Bruh, nice spawn. I gotta hide from this guy. RUN! Oh, there's two mines, that's unfortunate. The biggest thing though that I think is missing from the tanky birthday event is just a fun gold mode. Man, it would've been so nice to just have a nice deathmatch mode with increased golds, no overdrives, no drones. Because now with all the brand new driver augments, there needs to be a lot more event modes without drones. Because people are gonna get their overdrives so fast nowadays. Because it's crazy to think that the Halloween event is actually coming up in a few months here. We're only like three to four months away. It's crazy, man. This year has gone by so fast. Bro, why am I getting tag teamed? Because I don't know if the statistics are telling Tanky another thing. But one thing we've been missing in so many event modes recently is just a nice normal gold mode that we remember like from the past. It's hard to get normal gold modes these days unless you remove overdrives. Especially drones and augments. I just hope that for this year's events, we see some of the nice gold modes that we're used to. Because I know I've said this in a video before, but the only normal gold mode we got was for Day of the Dead a few weeks after the normal Halloween event. So we didn't even get a really good gold event for Halloween. We had to wait a few weeks after Halloween for the Day of the Dead event, which is just ridiculous. Give us what we want, man. I was so ready to play just tons of the event, but it just wasn't fun whatsoever, so I wasn't going to play it at all. Come on, get him. Hello, die! Oh my gosh, that dude did so much help. Alright, 50 prod against me. What the heck? Why are there three people with 50 prod? That's pretty uncommon. Dude, <laughs> I love seeing the damage numbers. That's one change that I like that Tanky's made in the past few years is the damage numbers change. There's a lot of changes that I don't like, like dead bodies. I'm not a huge fan of all the new status effects and pulsar augments being added. Bro, how's he not dead? 
Holy cow. I also do enjoy this augment because it's a crystal augment, so you guys can try it out if you really want to. Overall, it's just a really fun augment. I'm probably gonna wrap the video up here, guys. Don't forget to use creator tag Taspins in the item shop if you're gonna purchase anything. It helps me out, like you guys know. I say it all the time. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in a future video. Take care, everyone.